I want what I want when I want it. I want it, I want it. Is that the way you approach a negotiation? It won't get us much. Maybe it was very nice when I was two and I wanted a cookie and I just kept saying it. It doesn't work that way. When you take a stance like our little girl there does, hands like this on her hips, she means business. Women, you can do that in business or at home. And it still works when you're grown up. You can put your hands on your hips. The point is though, people are always negotiating. No matter what environment you're in, be it male or female, you're negotiating. Because people pick up on your body cues and they get insight into the mental aspect that you project. But in so doing, I was able to, again, pick up insight into the type of character and the type of demeanor that individual possessed at that moment in time. And anytime you read body language, one thing you have to do is to make sure you set a foundation first. It's not a clue that dishonest or honest people can't hold a look. It can go either way. Most of you, if you're trying to remember, I can't even remember lunch hardly, look up and to the left, I'm retrieving from my memory what happened yesterday. And I'm playing that little video back in my head. But if I look up and to the right, I'm making it up. <laughs> oh, I had a great lunch. I had steak and, you know, I'm baloney. I'm full of it. When people are not aware of the fact that they will naturally tend to look in one direction or another as they are answering questions, they will do so. And there's something called microexpressions. Microexpressions are expressions that occur in 1 25th of a second to one second. They are natural, they are unfiltered expressions, emotional expressions that occur without the mind thinking about what action the body is getting ready to commit to. It's also how you say it. This, now we're gonna move from some of the, the body things into that words, how they come out of your mouth. I'm so glad to be here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think when my volume started to really go up? What did you think? Too much caffeine. Too much caffeine. Okay, okay. What other drugs is Insensitive you Insensitive artificial. Insensitive artificial. How about it had I said, I'm so glad to be here tonight. Caffeine. Yeah, yeah, yes. But if, on the other hand, I said, I'm really, really happy to be here tonight. What would you think then? You probably are. Right. Speed and pacing. Men without women would be nothing. Men without women would be nothing. Two different meanings. Same words. Pace was different. Did anyone hear the difference? Yes. Again, the way you say things, the way you convey your sentiments have a meaning as the individual that's here that perceives it. The phone and the email, most of the negotiations I find today, or a lot of them, don't get to happen at the conference table. Many of them happen by email, voicemail, and on the phone. How do you still, you lose 60% of the message. There's no visual cues. This is when you really have to sharpen up your listening skills really have to be listening. One time Greg and I were on the phone talking to each other and we were trying to demonstrate this point. He said, okay, I'm listening to you and I'm guessing you are hunched over your computer working away. Guess what? He was right. I'm not quite as good with the ears. And I guessed he was at the same situation, but I hadn't really picked it up. He was laying back, he said, sitting in like a recliner or something with the computer on his stomach. I didn't pick that up. You have to really change how you negotiate. If you are in a difficult negotiation and you don't have enough quiet around your workspace, go into a conference room. You have to alter your surroundings as well as your behavior so that you can give that negotiation full focus. No more looking at, at the fact that you've got mail or that your other line, your, your cell phone rang. You've got to block all that stuff out and focus on the audio cues.
because that's all you've got at that point. For those of you that can't see you right now, tell me what my facial expression is like. Anybody? Anybody? I'm laughing. Anyone else? What, what is on Greg's face because you're practicing your listening? Smile. 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 Exactly. You can feel it. You can see it, although you can't see it with your eyes. I come back to you, but you can still discern what it was that I was doing. Now what? What was that? Or, you, can hear, you can hear all of that when you're conversing with someone via the phone without even seeing what their environment is like. You hear, what's that? Typing. Keyboard, you can hear the keyboard. You think you're quiet. And thus you tell when you're losing someone's attention. Pay attention to those signals and you'll be more adept when it comes to negotiating, be it male or female. A lot of people say they don't negotiate because they're afraid. Afraid of that you might lose, you give up something. And what we're trying to just give you is a sample of getting a little more power and confidence. In business, it is business. It is not personal. So always try to keep that frame of mind. This is business. It's not a personal affront. When they say, no, I can't do that. Take it very much as a business thing. Thank you.